Today I'm going to give you a very quick overview of my latest hardware acquisition, a Sun Microsystems Sunfire X4600M2. I got this machine for an amazing price of $64, and this is a pretty good deal if you consider the average asking price for one of these machines on eBay. I'm going to get things started by removing the system's top cover to show you the insides of the machine. The system's top cover is removed simply by untightening two finger nuts located on the rearward edge of the top cover, sliding it backwards and then lifting it upwards. In this section of the chassis behind the hard drive bays, there is a flex cable which connects the hard drive backplane to the power distribution board and the system board. The next section of the machine houses the system nodes. There are currently four nodes fitted, each with a AMD Opteron 8220 CPU and 8 gigs of RAM each. The system can be fitted with a total of eight of these node boards, so as you can see there are four empty spaces. The next section of the machine houses the rearward section of the system board as well as six PCI Express expansion slots and two PCI X expansion slots. Take note of the fact that the system can only be fitted with low profile cards. The system is powered by four 850 watt power supply units, two of which are required for the system to boot and the extra two are for built in system redundancy. Cool air is forced through the machine from front to rear by these four oversized fan units which are removable. You remove them by pushing the two green tabs together and pulling the unit upwards. Two of them are required for the system to operate and the other two are for built-in redundancy. If the fan unit fails this amber light will illuminate. These are the various features found on the system's front panel and rear panel. And these are the system specs according to Wikipedia. This is a tool that I made from an extra large paperclip to safely start the machine without damaging the power button. So let's go ahead and beat this little monster. Now that Solaris 11.4 is up and running on the machine, let's have a look around. Okay, so these are the applications that are currently installed on the machine. The first application that I actually installed on the machine was PR Boom, as I believe that no workstation is really complete without it. So let's play a bit of PR Boom. This concludes my demonstration of PR Boom. Next, I'm quickly going to log on to RX Network using Firefox.
Okay, so we're now logged into IREX network. I'm quickly going to take you to the Sun sub forum. And log into the thread that I have running on this machine. Okay, so this concludes my short overview of this machine. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.